Hello, the following video you are about to watch is an extract from my new course and book, Atomic Note-Taking. So enjoy the video, and if you want to check out more about the course, go to atomicnotetaking.com. So creating projects from your Zettelkasten, this is, I think, one of the real great aspects of this system is that it helps you create projects. So you might be thinking, well, when can I write blog posts from my Zettelkasten? I'm just starting out and I'm putting notes in and like, when can I get something out of it? So I'm a big, strong believer in writing and publishing as a way to help your own work, your own understanding. Um, I'm also a believer as an entrepreneur that um, if you have something you really care about, you write about it and you find other people who are really um, connected to that same thing and then that potentially could become part of a business essentially um, to help you follow that passion um, and you know business being uh, the ability to make money where the money is fuel for you to follow that passion um, so I think it's really important to use uh, writing and publishing as a way to clarify your thinking it helps you make sure that you can see things clearly explain things clearly and invite others to give you feedback and it's that feedback that helps you see the parts that you've missed and helps you sharpen your understanding so knowing when to create a blog post from your Zettelkasten is actually quite challenging uh, and it may not be a blog post it might be a youtube video it might be um, uh, an article of some some sort uh, a paper you want to publish whatever it is um, knowing when you're ready to do that can be quite challenging. So the one of the measures, um, I think, of when you're ready to create a full blog post is when you could do it entirely from the notes within your Zettelkasten without needing additional research. So use a map of content. Try and bring in an outline of an article and see where the gaps are. And if there's gaps, keep researching, keep reading keep making notes and, and filling in those gaps um, if you can't if you find that you can do an entire article then maybe you're ready to start writing and doing some publishing um, but of course it also depends on the kind of article you want to publish so you might be wanting to publish something that's very introductory which is absolutely fine you might have some definitions some benefits some drawbacks all of that or you might want to do a deep dive where you really go specific in a in a particular area um, where someone will literally learn everything you'll probably need more exhaustive notes in order to do that um, or you might want to look at a narrow perspective of something and I could give you an example where I could pick maybe I've got some notes on content creation and notes on uh, solo entrepreneurship right and I might want to look at a very specific question that I'm pulling insights together such as um, how does a solo entrepreneur make money from content creation like that could be one very slim narrow kind of perspective where i'm not looking at the entire subjects as a whole um, not looking at the whole of the entrepreneurship field not looking at the whole of content creation i'm purely looking at the monetization strategy of that and, and why that could be beneficial so i might have a very narrow perspective uh, where i want to express my unique point of view and hopefully as as you go through your career and you kind of experience more things you'll pick up insights that you won't read about but they'll just be part of your um, experience uh, and that can also be beneficial for you to um, to write about like I'll give you an example you know in the work that I do I've been going through creating a YouTube channel I've launched the book I've done this video course I'm building community all those little experiences helps me now talk about certain subjects with a bit more authority that I wouldn't have uh, if I hadn't um, practiced in those areas so that's where my unique points of view can come through um, in some way it is helpful to read a few different sources on a given subject before you write you know we in the last video we just spoke about plagiarism um, you know if you only read one book and then you write about that book or write out the ideas are you just copying and rehashing so I think if you are going to write a blog post it can either have multiple sources of, of perspectives and ideas that you're 
you're synthesizing or you have your own individual experiences and you're applying that to something you've just learned about. I think that could be helpful there. Um, yeah, um, another method is to just pose questions and uh, see if there's anything interesting that you want to ask. So you use your Zettelkasten to try and answer that question. Um, so let's say, let's go back to the, the, the content creator kind of perspective. I might have mindset notes, I might have habit notes, and I might have uh, notes about content creation. And then I might want to ask the question, how to how do I avoid burnout as a content creator, right? And now I can look at the mindset challenges. I can look at the habit challenges. Maybe there's some other psych psychology notes in there, you know, anxiety and um, uh, motivation and those kinds of things. Maybe I've got notes on those. But looking at that, that could be an article in its own right. You could very much see that article on say medium.com where, you know, how to avoid burnout as a content creator. Um, that could be quite an interesting article um, and it helps you reason about your understanding of the subject and your thinking about it um, and really what you want to avoid is the top-down approach where you want to say something um, you want to write about something but you don't have the notes to do it so, and then you, you find that you stop start stop start you keep researching before you can continue article and the downside of that is that you might want to say something specific that means your research will always sort of lean you'll always cherry pick the research that only says what you want it, that article to say and actually the truth might be the the opposite so the top down guides a, a very biased way of looking at the articles you can create ways bottom up the truth is in your note-taking and you're just writing about that when you go bottom up <laughs>